Hi there, my name is Daniel, and in this video I'll be demonstrating Zen Studio's integration with App Agility, a new feature available in Zen Studio 11. App Agility is an API builder designed to simplify creating and maintaining useful, easy to consume, and well structured APIs. Zen Studio's integration with App Agility allows you to seamlessly create, document, and test the APIs constructing the back end of your applications all within the same development environment. So let's get started. First, we're going to create a new App Agility project. To do this, I'm going to the menu bar and selecting File, New, App Agility Project. In the New App Agility Project wizard, I'm going to enter a name for the new project and leave the default project location. My local Zen server is already selected for deployment, though I'm not going to deploy the project in this tutorial. Clicking Next gives me the Templates dialog, in which you can decide whether to create the new project with a pre-configured REST service, or to create an empty project. We're going to go for the Empty App Agility Project option. Clicking Finish, the new project is created, and the App Agility Editor is opened. Since this editor requires certain Composer dependencies, Zen Studio will now add them to the project, together with Composer support. Great, now let's add a new service. Clicking APIs at the top of the editor opens the APIs page. Since we chose an empty project, there are no existing API libraries. So let's create one. I'm going to click Create New API, name the API, and then click Create API. My new API is added and opened. On the left, we have some menu items. I'm going to click the RPC Services item and then Create New RPC Service. We're now required to name the new service and enter the service route. Clicking Create RPC Service creates the new service. Our next step is documentation. App Agility makes this task really easy. I'm going to click the Fields tab and then go to the coloured bar at the top of the service. Three action buttons are displayed and I'm going to select the green Edit Service button. In the Field Name text area, enter a value and click the Create New Field button. I'm now going to expand the panel with the new field name and enter description for the new field. Once I'm finished, I'm going to go to the bottom of the editor and click Save Changes. I'm going to select the Documentation tab and then click the Edit Service button again. I'm now going to add a description for the service and the GET method. I'm now going to click the Generate from Configuration button to autofill the response body and then save the changes. Cool, the service is documented, but at this point still doesn't actually do much. Let's remedy this by doing some coding. 
Clicking the source code tab, we can see that AppAgility has created a new controller file for the new service. Clicking this file link opens the file in Zen Studio. Let's expand the project in the PHP Explorer to find the new controller file. OK, so I'm now going to insert some code. The important lines here are lines 5, which imports the Zen Framework Content Negotiation View Model, and lines 11 to 13, which return a view model from the controller. What we're actually saying in this code is that the response to the request should contain an act parameter with a current timestamp. Our next step is to test the new service. Zen Studio's integration with AppAgility allows you to do this within your workspace without needing to use other utilities. So back in the AppAgility editor, I'm going to hover over the colored bar of the service again and this time select the test service button. Zen Studio opens the test service view which handles all the testing process for AppAgility APIs. We can see that the method route is automatically displayed in the URL field as are the request parameters and the method type. So, clicking the test icon, Zen Studio gives us the response at the bottom of the view. Great! Our final step in this tutorial is adding authentication to the service. So on the RPC Services page, I'm going to click the Authorization menu item. Here, I'm going to select the Get checkbox and click Save. The Get method is now inaccessible unless a user provides valid credentials to the API. If I test this method now, I'll get a 403 forbidden response. So what we need to do now is add authentication. I'm going to click this link to open the authentication page. On this page, I'm going to select the HTTP basic authentication method. For the authentication realm, I'm going to enter API. Then I'm going to enter the location of the password file and click Save. Zen Studio creates and opens the password file. Clicking Add User, I'm now going to add a username and password for authentication. After I click OK, the new user is added to the password file. After saving, I'm now going to the test service view again, and this time I'm going to select the authentication required checkbox. I'm now going to enter the same user credentials and click OK. We can see that authentication details were added to the request header. Testing now gives us the required response. That's it for now guys, thanks for watching. Check out the Developing Mobile Applications in Zen Studio video to learn how to use AppAgility to develop mobile apps in Zen Studio.